People who have been extras on a PRN shoot, what's your story? NSFW. I was an extra. I actually didn't know it was PRN until I got there. My role was I was sitting down at a cafe. When the main two characters met, you see me for like a second. I got $100 pretty easy money. Would do it again. My dad is an actor and one of his first jobs was being the main non s Zerl role in a PRNO. Where he basically visited his high school graduation class crushes and was there to look at them having sex with other dudes. It's ducking hilarious. He basically said he got paid like 500 for the day, back in the 80s, and was just improvising the entire time. There's a scene where he smiles at the camera while peeking through his roommate's door. And the last scene is him half talking half crying to his roommate while he and another chick are going at it hard. The PRNO itself is absolute T. He was definitely the highlight. Can't remember the name though. Found it on Zhamster. In the 80s my dad owned a video store and was approached by an adult video production company to shoot the intro to one of their movies in his store. He agreed and on the day of the shoot they informed him that they needed one of the employees to be in the scene as the video store clerk. So there's probably 10 seconds of this hour long movie with my dad showing these two women to the adult section of the store. Cut to a few months later. The production company wants to do a soft core cut of the movie for cable channels and my dad's scene is in the preview for it on the Playboy channel. He gets a call one night from his sister yelling at him about how he's in a PRNO. Apparently her husband liked to watch the Playboy channel and saw it. My dad had to explain how he wasn't actually in it etc. He got a lot of calls while that preview was being shown haha. My buddy used to be a camera guy and his wife the makeup artist on adult films in Chatsworth. CA. They invited me to come visit. I didn't know this meant I'd be in a scene. It was called Frat House Duck Fest and I'm the guy yelling duck her face. Over and over again while eating barbecue chicken. I used to DJ at a duck club, swingers bar, or whatever you call them in your area. Not quite the same but you just stop noticing the naked after a short while. I was assured it wasn't a PRN, just an erotic film, by the guy who introduced me to the project but a few things tipped me off. Every other actor there was a PRN actor we had an alibi if the owner asked us what we were shooting the title was a S. I riff on a well. Known TV show the director had exclusively directed PRN for 40 years saw them shooting a scene where a dude was actively jerking off to a naked woman dancing. I just played a cop and never had to drop trowel. Highest paid acting gig I'd ever gotten up to that point in my life. When they asked me what I wanted to credit myself as, I realized I couldn't put my name on it. So I chose my friend's name, to whom I owed some mild revenge. It's still on his IMDB profile. Sorry, Mike. It was by accident. There was this website on Bangbrus 10 years ago called Duck Team 5 where they filmed average guys banging PRN stars. I was at the checkout line at a liquor store and they staged a couple of random guys next to me and three PRN stars walked in to seduce them. It wasn't until years later that my friend discovered me and sent me a link to the video. The camera guy never asked me for permission to be on film so I guess I could have sued. Duck Team 5. Three PRN stars. Well I feel cheated. My time to shine. A few years back I was offered a role in a PRN and as I was excited about the offer I accepted. It was standard uninterested husband horny wife plot. I stayed under the covers and pretended to be asleep while ass got smashed around me. I was an extra for a public disgrace and an upper floor shoot for King Kong. It was super cool. For public disgrace they had an open bar, but if you chose not to drink you could actually play with the model during a couple parts of the shoot. This one chick jumped in at the first opportunity and just went to town finger banging the model lol. The upper floor shoot was basically a fancy SX party with a PRN being shot in the background. They had an open bar, delicious appetizers, SX toys and furniture to use. 
In the outside halls they had giant oil paintings of crazy kink shoots placed in golden ornate frames. It was the most posh SZI thing I've ever done. I signed up for a PRN shoot. Thinking I would get to duck some Lena Paul kinda girl. Turned out that I was the boyfriend the girl cheated on. It was the kinda PRN where I'm across the table and she's hiding underneath and sucking his DCK. I could see everything but I wasn't allowed to get hard cause it would ruin the shot. Apparently they were shooting something on the balcony at Trickow House in New Orleans during Mardi Gras. I was in the background as I was next door doing work for Nola Live. Saw a gif earlier where the dude pulls a script out. Says thought I was an extra today. This question came about because I was watching some fake amateur style PRN that had a lot of people walking about in the background minding their business and I was curious if that was a job or if they just happened to be there. Face with tears of joy. I wasn't an extra, but actually auditioned for a PRN when I was 18. After all the STD tests they scheduled a live audition. I show up and meet the crew and the female actress I'm supposed to have sx with. Who is super hot btw. No I don't remember her name. So we finally get on set and it's time to get down to business and there are about 8 people in the room. I'm expecting most everybody to leave. I figured there would be me. Her. The cameraman and maybe one other person in the room. The only problem was nobody is leaving the room. She starts by giving me a BJ. But I'm so nervous and with all the people watching my DCK has stage fright. They tell me to take a minute and go to the bathroom and try to get my little man to rise to the occasion. To make a long story short. I couldn't get it up in front of all the people. In my defense. I wasn't a virgin but I wasn't super experienced either. My girlfriend shoots fetish stuff. Don't really have any stories like you are thinking of. The producers and models are all super nice people. The producer took us to Universal Studios the day after the shoot. Saw the wizarding world of Harry Potter so that was pretty cool. Knew a girl who was an extra in one of the dancing bears. Reminds me of a video I saw of exactly that on Effect. Extra gets carried away and sucks DCK. As soon as he finishes she starts laughing which slowly deteriorates into her crying on camera lol. Not me but, this guy called Joey, was an extra and he was the printer boy trying fix the copier while people having sx on it. His only line was you know. This reminds me of that guy who played a blind dad whose daughter got pounded by his stepson in front of him. It's funny because it's not like he's deaf too. A blind person would still know what was going on. I was offered once to be an extra. The father of a friend did PRN movies and needed a few students for a classroom. I had to work. So I refused. That's the whole story. Guess I'll contribute one. Before anyone asks. No sources available. It was for a pay site and I've long since lost the ability to access it. One of my best friends and former FWB ran a website for a low level PRN producer. She talked me into being in front of the camera as sort of a fake cameraman who was on camera filming people have sx. I was supposed to be a husband or boyfriend or whatnot who was filming his partner ducking someone. It was fun. I guess. Got to join in on the post shoot hot tub parties and slept with a few of the girls when they were off duty. All in all, it was a thing I did during my wilder days. I can't remember the last time I saw PRN with extras in it. If it's two chicks and a guy, the guy is extra. Sort of an extra. Next rumored of mine from my college days had a girls gone wild PRN shoot, or something similar, at his house. Egg college girls screwing in the middle of a house party. It was authentic in the sense that there were a bunch of college kids playing beer pong and standing around. It looked like a collegiate house party on film but the girls were most certainly not college students. Nothing was spontaneous. Camera lights are surprisingly bright in person. My ex-roommate charged his frat brother's admission since he wasn't getting paid by the producers. He made a decent amount. 
I was barely visible off the edge of a couple shots. I doubt anyone could pick me out unless I specifically pointed myself out and they knew me back then. This was in the days when a lot of stuff was still filmed in SD so the video quality was poor. It was surprisingly boring after the initial novelty wore off and I didn't stay for the whole shoot. I was asked to be a camera operator for a PRN. It was a kinky femdom style shoot. Over the course of two days the dom had a parade of men come in and do a scene with her. Twice during the shoot for whatever reason the man was a no-show. Each time that happened I locked the camera down on the tripod and stepped in as the sub. I'm really into femdom so it was a dream job both to shoot and act. She put me in bondage. Did impact play. Did some tease and denial. More impact. And finally let me orgasm. em. It was fun. Every time she visits my city for a PRN shoot now she has a preferred camo. I were in Barcelona in 2012 with a friend. We were 18 years old then. We watched FC Barcelona, Real Madrid game, and had to go home to the hotel across the city. Little did we know that they close off the subway after games because of the almost 100. 000 fans going home at the same time. We had to walk because we didn't have much cash. After walking for about 10 hours of being lost, we ended up in a ghetto. Found a Finnish Rastaman who gave us his old used bong for no reason at all. We went our separate ways and immediately saw a PRN in the making with US in the background. They were filming and ducking so obviously. We were standing there looking so confused. Holding a bong. I will pay well to see that movie. I used to date a guy who got fun gigs like that once in a while. The last one he told me about was a PRNO where he played a passed out boyfriend whose girlfriend cheats on him right next to where he's sleeping on the bed with another guy. He said he got a nice paid nap out of it. My friend was the SX columnist in our university's newspaper and found a dude who shot PRN on the east coast of Canada. He was in town filming Naughty Newfies 2 at a strip club and needed some extras. I never saw the final product but there is a trailer out there somewhere. That includes an original song about Naughty Newfies. No one banged while we were there. We were just needed for the story parts about saving an old rundown strip club. It was the day before my birthday and great fun. An experience I'll treasure forever. I've lied awake some nights contemplating what the complex algorithm must be like to get a question out of new in RS credit. Answer. The words PRN or tagging NSFW increase your odds 100%. It was great. It was a spin-off of The Price is Right and I was the winner so I came on down and plowed her. 10 stroke 10 would recommend. Once for a week I was hired to be jack of all trades on a PRN reality TV pilot. I was running camera, sound, and was an extra on many of those days. Pay was med but can't complain. So because nobody has actually like, been an extra on a PRN shoot. Per the request, I'll add. Two weekends ago I walked out my front door and there was just a dude walking down the sidewalk. Was throwing out my old roommate's stuff and there was a super nice fitted A's hat and I asked dude if he wanted it. Brand new and I felt weird throwing it away. He said yeah. Randomly asked me if I'd ever thought about acting. Already knew where it was going but said sure. I mean why not lay it on me. He offered me a blunt and told me that he makes PRN in a house close to mine and that they're going to be doing a all black chicks plus white hipster video. What do I think? Could I lay it down on camera? Told him I'm sure I could. We exchanged numbers and he told me to hit him up if I was down. Didn't say no. Didn't say yes. So, I could be an extra in a PRN movie soon. Edit. Not a troll joke. I used to be a professional makeup artist and was hired to do makeup on a PRN set. First time on a movie. Before then mostly weddings. Proms. Fancy nights out. Occasional theater work. I thought this would be a good addition to my side hustle I worked admin during the day and makeup on weekends. One task was to disguise the lead actress's pubic shaving shadow. Her pubic area smelled so bad it was unbearable. 
I'm assuming she had picked up some horrible diseases at some point and none of the male stars even seemed to notice. But she stank like a skunk that had been hit by a car and left to rot in the sun for the weekend. Absolutely decomposing flesh and putrefaction. I can't understand how the guys could deal with that. Goodness knows what they were picking up from her. That was the day I quit my makeup side hustle. YouTube instructional videos were making us obsolete at that time anyway. I was an extra for a gangbang scene. Unfortunately, I never got to get in on the action because the actress tapped out after the 50th guy. You'd think I would have been able to go first since she was my wife. Also, there were no cameras. Comma not me but. Full stop. Comma well not an extra but. Full stop. Extras? What high budget PRN are you watching? Someone paged? I was a regular on King. Comms the upper floor chats and live shows. This was back when the house slaves stayed at the armory and Fly had webcamer in most rooms and a program that could read the chat out loud. So the people on the other side of the camera got to know most of the regulars. During one of the shows, I had a pretty good back and forth with one of the dons and he invited me to come to one of their party's live shows. A few weeks later, I visited San Francisco and got a great tour of the armory, met some really fun people, and went to a great party. I also went to a dim sum with them the day before and after the party and hung out around the armory to watch another taping. It was an incredibly fun weekend. Well not an extra but a friend paid me to help him film his SX tape with his GF. And I was determined to be the best PRN cameraman ever getting all those good close-ups. And of course, I got horny. Only wishing to be a part of it. That's just sad. Holy sht. Not me, but a buddy of mine isn't a PRN star. But is industry adjacent and was an extra in Jews Love Black Cock. He has a PRN podcast and got to go to the AVN Awards. Loved every minute of it. Not an extra. I was a boom operator. I owed my director friend a favor. So he asked me to take care of the sound in his new short movie. He just didn't tell me it was PRN and I had no reason to suspect that. As he filmed some other stuff before. First, we shot a scene outside where the main character was flirting with a girl. It made no sense and I thought, man, this is some bad acting. At the end of the day we went to an apartment to shoot the last scene. It was described as an erotic scene. I was still quite oblivious. My thought process during the shoot of the scene went like that. Wow. If only they were this engaged before. Great acting. Great undressing. These are some nice boobs. Oh. They're really going at it. What the hell is going on? Ooh. So that's what this project really is. After all, an interesting experience. It was like shooting a regular movie. The only different thing was the smell. I was sitting on a bench by the river near my place, reading a book, and a couple girls approached and asked if I would be okay with them shooting some photos while I was there. Basically the one girl sells her nudes online and her friend is her photographer for a cut. They wanted a shoot, or had requests for, I guess, where she exposes herself around a stranger. I basically said do I have to do anything, or can I just read my book? So they proceeded to have their shoot. I got a chapter of book read. They thanked me, and moved along. My biggest regret is not asking for a link of some sort. Even if they were censored. Just because in hindsight it's hilarious but at the moment I was really just interested in reading my damn book. You know that's bad for the paper tray. My husband did a year and a bit of background work. He did background for PRN once or twice. He said the food for extras was better than on any TV show or movie he'd done. On big productions background generally eats after crew and talent. Sometimes not very much is left, or they are scheduled to avoid having to provide meals. Also, at one point the producer came out for what was supposed to be a plot scene, fully clothed, but instead of sending the actor out, he walked out completely naked. Everyone on set laughed and laughed. Apparently this was his standard bit. Always killed. 
my older brother's friend was playing one of the girl's brother, who left her alone with his GF, and the two girls proceeded to have some extremely hardcore and LSX. He didn't know it was that extreme until the video had gone up and he wanted to watch his performance. I don't think it counts as being an extra, but I was in the crowd once for ultimate surrender. For the unfamiliar, it's like wrestling, women's wrestling, except instead of trying to pin their opponent, they strip the skimpy clothing off their opponent and forcefully do things like grope them, finger them, force them to eat out, etc. The longer they molest each other the more points they would score. At the end of the match, the winner would duck the loser with a strap on. If you like wrestling and hot women ducking each other, you should look it up. There's a lot of great videos out there. I went with my best friend. They let us bring in beer and we got to sit on the edge of the mat. Right by the action. No crazy story. She just got us tickets and we got to drink beer and cheer as hot women wrestle ducked each other. It was a great time. Not extra but. Used to do makeup for that industry. Several years ago when a certain pop sensation was doing a circus theme album I worked on a feature that had the same theme. In fact the little person fire breather that the pop star used in her music video was in the adult movie. He wasn't cleared to do anything because all actors have to be cleared by AIM as far as STD tests etc. And they got caught up in the scene and next thing you know the little person was getting a blowy. The director used lightweight he isn't cleared. Funny side story TMZ got a hold of the info that the little person that was in Big Pop Star's video was also in a PRN. I got a call from my friend and they were like turn on TV your makeup job is on TMZ. I was new to LA so that was kinda cool. We also got nominated for best feature makeup at the AVN awards that year. I love to throw that out at parties. My wife was an extra when we had SX the other night. I also choose this guy's dead fish. Not me but one of my friends was on a PRNO prank TV show. A mutual friend of ours asked my buddy to watch a pro football player's house while the owner was out of town for some dollar sign. My friend goes to check in on the house and walks upstairs and lo and behold there's a full on orgy PRNO being filmed. He goes into another room and Ron Jeremy is going to town on a chick. I think shortly after the pro football player walks into all this and asks WTF is going on and my buddy's reaction is priceless.